So we're about two weeks into 2026, and this might be the most important video you watch this year. Because today, I'll be teaching you guys how to download, play, and install Pixelmon in the big year 2026. Every year, I make a video like this in January, and a ton of you guys always reach out and comment, letting me know how helpful it is and how happy you are to finally be playing Pixelmon. So I knew I couldn't skip this year. And this year, to make things a little easier, I'll be giving you guys two different methods of installing Pixelmon. So if the method I usually teach doesn't work for you, you do have an alternative. And here we go, guys. Let's not waste any more time. First things first, you are going to want to have the Minecraft launcher, which means you're going to want to have a Minecraft Java account. And if you already have one of those, perfect. You're a step ahead already. And if not, I'm actually going to have Java Minecraft linked on this video in the shopping section so you guys can buy it easily there and also support the channel. So thank you so much if you do. And don't worry, guys, for all of you that want to play Cobblemon, the newest Pokemon Minecraft mod, I'll have a tutorial for that dropping within the next couple days. But once you have a Java Minecraft account and the Minecraft launcher, you're officially ready for step one, which is going to be over here at reforged.gg. You guys can click the link in the description to find it, or you can just type reforged.gg into your browser. So what you may notice right away on this site is the green download buttons right here. And this button would download Pixelmon version 9.3.13, which is the most current stable release of the Pixelmon mod. However, this is not the version of Pixelmon that Smash MC currently runs on. To find that, we'll have to scroll a bit further down here, all the way till we see previous major updates because we want 9.1.3 for Minecraft 1.16.5. We're gonna click on that and we'll see this big blue download button and you're simply gonna click it. But guys, this is so important. I've been telling you guys what to click in this video. It's even more important you listen when I tell you what not to click. An ad is gonna pop up simply in the top right. Wait five seconds for the skip button and just click skip, but don't click anything on this ad. It's not important. You don't want it. Doesn't help you play Pixelmon. Just click that skip button and boom. You'll be prompted for a download and simply just click save. That's all you gotta do. So we've downloaded the Pixelmon mod. All right, cool. That's step one of the downloads. We still need to download the correct version of the Forge. You guys can find that linked in the description as well. And it's here you'll find both versions of the Forge for Minecraft 1.16.5. And pay attention to that word recommended because that's the one we want. Simply just click on the box that says installer. And once again, we want the one that ends in 3-4, not 4-2. So boom, click that box to run the installer. Once again, don't click anything. Hands off the keyboard, hands off the mouse. Watch that countdown in the top right. Two, one, skip. Boom, and my download has started. Moving on now to the next step. You've downloaded everything you need for Pixelmon. Now it is time to install it. So as you can see on my desktop, I have both of the .jar files we just downloaded. And notice how I said .jar files. You're gonna make sure you need a version of Java in order to run these files. But if you have Java, they should show up looking like two cups of coffee. Man, that would hit so hard right now. But we gotta stay focused. Simply click on the Forge installer that we downloaded to run it. And this little menu is gonna pop up. You don't have to click anything other than okay. And boom, it's gonna start downloading, doing its thing. And you'll see complete successfully installed client profile forge version, yada, yada. Simply click okay. And that's gonna close out. And now is when we'll open up the Minecraft launcher. So we'll head to the installations tab and we'll click on new installation. And we're gonna title this Pixelmon 2026. Oop, misspelled that. Listen up now and watch carefully this is super important. In the version tab, we need to scroll down until we find that 1.16.5 version of the Forge we just installed. It should be somewhere, but sometimes it can be a bit elusive. There we go. Release 1.16.5 Forge. That is exactly what we want. And now before you click the green install button, head over to more options and see this too right here at the beginning of the JVM arguments. We can change this too to make Minecraft run a bit better. So this depends on what kind of system you have, how powerful it is. You can change this too to a four so your computer uses a bit more RAM. But personally, I set mine to eight because it runs best for me like that. And now you click the green install button. Yes, I understand the risks. You don't have to tell 
tell me Minecraft launcher play and boom you'll see it finalizing the bar did its thing and we'll scroll down we can see Pixelmon 2026 the version we just installed but hold up hold the phone before you click play you still need to install Pixelmon we've installed the forge but Pixelmon is still on our desktop right here so to do that in the Minecraft launcher find this little open installations folder button and click that on the version we installed and this will open your dot Minecraft folder here you can make a mods folder if you don't already have one simply by right clicking making a new folder entitling it mods but from here you just drag that Pixelmon 1.16.5 version to the mods folder and boom you just installed Pixelmon round of applause for you but you're still not quite done because you still got to get on smash MC and to do that you're finally ready to click the play button so let's do just that and boom Pixelmon should start to load up kind of something like this it looks a little scary when it's loading up with the red screen but after all of that what like five minutes of work not even we are at the home screen and if you see Pixelmon right here boom you did it but you still need to get on the best Pixelmon server smash MC and to do that we'll click the multiplayer button right here and all you want to do is click add server give it a nice title smash MC www there we go and then for the server address it's arpus.smashmc.co once that's typed in boom you can spell check it once or twice just click done and you'll know it works because you'll see a cinderace with the smash mc logo simply just click the server to join up and you'll find yourself in the server hub where you can right click on your inventory and choose any of the six servers to start playing it think of it like having six different save files in a pokemon game oh yeah there's also a brand new cobblemon server and like i said i'll have a tutorial for that dropping very soon if you guys want to play cobblemon but once you've decided on your server you just pick one i picked kyogre because it's one of my favorite legendaries and if this pops up yes you do want to download all of the server's resource packs there's tons of custom pokemon including custom paradox pokemon custom mega evolutions and even custom fusion pokemon this server's like no place else but of course guys i promised you two different ways to install and play Pixelmon, and the second way is with the Technic Launcher. So come over here to the Mod Pack section and type in Smash MC to see the Smash MC Pixelmon Mod Pack, and I already have it installed, so it just says play for me, but for you guys, it should say download right there. And once we have the Technic Mod Pack downloaded, all you need to do is click the play button, and it should start booting up just like that. Let me go full screen, and once again, we simply just click multiplayer, add a server, arpus.smash mc.co and once that's typed in you can double click the server once again to join up and boom we're here where we just were in the kyogre server but this time of course with the technic launcher super easy and that's gonna do it for the 2026 pixelmon install tutorial if you guys have any questions still leave them in the comments i'll try to get to as many of them as i can thank you guys so much for watching i hope this video was helpful to you don't forget to leave a like if it was and make sure you guys subscribe for pixelmon videos I post all the time and I think you'd really enjoy them. See you guys.